Hey, Christine Johnson Sewing Friends. So we're back today and we are sewing the iconic moto jacket right here. And um, we're gonna go ahead and sew our next section of our uh, panel of, of our body, which is sewing the sleeves and uh, into the body of the jacket, sewing the sleeves and the side seams. So what I wanted to show you today, and I've actually sewn one of the sleeves in right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and show this to you. So what I wanna go ahead and show you is kind of how this is gonna come together. So we're gonna sew the other sleeve and the other side seam, and then we're gonna go ahead, and in a separate video, we're gonna stay stitch the neckline and we're gonna apply the collar. Now the collar is optional. You do not have to apply the collar. You can make this a collarless jacket if you wish. You can modify the collar, make it a little stand collar if you want to. So there's lots of options with collars. Um, but the important thing that I wanted to show you is in this step where we sew the shoulder seams, you always wanna press those to the front. Yes to the front, not the back. So you're gonna press those sh sh shoulder seams to the front. And when you pin your um, or attach your sleeve in there, what you wanna do is make sure that that stays to the front when you're stitching your sleeve. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how I pin this sleeve in and how I sew, how I stitch this in my serger. I'm going right to the serger. Now I have switched my serger to four thread because I'm gonna be sewing an armhole and that needs a little bit more stabilization than say maybe the body panels um, might need as we've been sewing and constructing our jacket I've been using a three thread. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my, um, my fabric here, my ponte and my sleeve, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply this sleeve into my armhole. So let's flip it over and get the armhole right side up, okay? So this is the wrong side, this is the right side, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and take my notch at the top and I'm going to head and apply it right there. Very good. Just gonna make sure that I've got my ponte on the right side. Yes, that looks good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and line up the top and I'm gonna make sure that shoulder seam stays forward. Okay, I'm just gonna check that's back, that's forward. Very good, I'm gonna make sure that shoulder seam stays forward in this case by putting just a little pin at the top there. So pin at the top right on that seam so it stays forward. Now, I'm not gonna do a lot of pinning because we don't wanna do a lot of pinning when we're serging and we should be walking this. The most important thing you need to know is we will be stitching from the sleeve side up. So you wanna make sure your sleeve is up when you're inserting this in on the serger. And I'm gonna go ahead and line up my two bottom ends. And I'm just gonna stick a pin here just to hold this. And I'm also gonna stick a pin in to hold the one on the other side as well. Okay, so just two spots, and I'm gonna leave the rest of it loose, and you're gonna see how slowly I sew this sleeve in. Oh, the other positioning that you need to worry about too is this body panel. As you come across to the back, you wanna make sure that sleeve points, or that uh, seam points outward. So let's go ahead and get that there, and I'm gonna put, put a pin right in that spot too, just to make sure that stays out. And you'll wanna check it as you're surging too, just to make sure it's still pointing in the right direction as you go over it. Okay, let's go ahead and get that in there. And we are good. All right. Um, I'll go ahead and adjust something here. All right. Okay. So now a couple things that I have at my sewing workstation. Obviously I have my sewing machine and I have my serger right here, which I'm gonna turn you so you guys can see the serger in just a moment. Um, a couple of other things I have here on my sewing table. I have my trusty uh, box of pins. I have, oh, good old trusty seam ripper just in case I need it, um, which I shouldn't need it and to have my snips. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my seam ripper back away because I'm confident I'm gonna do the sleeve okay because I did the last one okay. Um, and I also have my eyeglasses because you know, as you um, need to be able to see things up close, you might need a little bit of magnification here. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip these on and I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys right over here to the serger so you can see how slowly I sew this thing. Um, so you can see again, we're going, we're sewing sleeve up, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and slide up here to my serger and I'm gonna remove my first pin because we really don't want that. All right, so sleeve up. I'm gonna line up my edges here. I'm sewing a 5 8, 5 8 inch seam as per the pattern instructions, written right on the pattern, by the way. And I know you guys can't see my face right now, but I want you to be able to see the serger here as I'm going. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this in place. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip you guys around here so you can see the serger a little bit better as I go through here, because I wanna show you exactly how slow I'm sewing this. Um, so as I go, I'm gonna be adjusting these two layers right here. Right. Okay, and this is where I'm hoping my serger is gonna actually start up and start running here, there we go. Okay. And as I go, I'm driving my fabric around the corner and I'm just keeping those edges lined up. Okay, and I'm not stretching or pulling or anything. I'm just keeping the edges lined up. 
and I'm periodically checking to make sure that it's flat all the way under here and I don't have any bunchies underneath the bottom. Sleeve is up. Okay. Again, I'm going to move the fabric around so we don't get any bunchies underneath there. Is that a technical term? Bunchies? I don't know. I think it is. Especially when you get here near the top. You can see I'm more driving the fabric around with my hands than I am pulling and stretching. I'm just kind of driving, driving it using my fingers. Okay, and I'm making sure that that shoulder seam stays in the right direction. Pointing forward as I go. Now I'm getting up here near the pin, so we have to make sure we don't run over any pins with our serger. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that pin out, keeping that shoulder seam forward. Drive right over the top of that. You see how slow I'm going around this thing? Just taking my time. Sewing is a process, and I'm making sure there's no bunchies as I go. Having the sleeve on top helps ease this into the cap. It's gonna make a beautiful cap. I am surging this directly in. I have not basted this, and you are welcome to base this if you want to. Okay, and I'm gonna make sure that seam stays forward as well. Um, you are welcome to base this, but it is not necessary. As you can see, I'm just sewing it right in with my serger. Make sure my ends are lined up. Make sure my seam is staying forward as I go over it. That's the body panel sleeve, the back panel sleeve. Or the back panel section, actually. Okay. Okay, there we go, and we're off. Now I got a couple things here. I, unfortunately, I pulled the tails into my serger here, so I gotta turn these little guys off. I hate when I do that. They didn't quite pull all the way off. There we go, just pull those right out. There we go, okay, perfect. So now, let's go ahead and flip you guys back around here so you can see me, and so you can see what we've done to our jacket. Now here's where I'm actually gonna go ahead and take our, my um, moto jacket off. Actually, I'm gonna wait a little bit on that. I'm gonna twitch, twist you guys around here because you're a little bit, there we go. Um, so now, what have we done? We have sewn our sleeve cap in place here. And as you can see, it's a nice, smooth, beautiful sleeve cap. I'm gonna go ahead and press this. Normally, I would go ahead and press this, but I'm gonna go ahead and just forego that pressing until I'm done to the next step. But as you can see, that's a nice, beautiful sleeve cap in there. Now, all we have to do is sew our side seams. So for the purposes of the video, I'm just gonna go ahead and stitch this. I would normally press this sleeve cap. Okay, and I wanna make sure that when I do this, that I'm gonna press this down here. Let me turn the whole jacket inside out so that way we're working with the jacket in the correct direction. Okay. All right, I'm gonna make sure that my, um, my seams here from the bottom are gonna be pointing downward from my sleeve, okay? So the sleeve cap seam allowances go down towards the cuff. So I'm gonna start with my body panels here Make sure I've got this all lined up. Okay, see the notches there? That's where I'm gonna start. Then I'm gonna surge from the bottom hem all the way down to the sleeve hem. Make sure everything is lined up all the way along as I go. Okay, and I'm gonna do 5 eighths inch here. Pop my glasses back on so I can see. And this one goes pretty quick because this is just the side seams. those babies lined up. And as I get to my underarm seam, just keep that forward. And as I go, you can see I'm, I'm just making sure that everything's lining up a couple of inches ahead. So that way I can just make sure I'm feeding this through correctly. Down here at the bottom, making sure it's lined up all the way along. So I can't emphasize enough, use good fabric. You can see that this jacket is a process for us. And unless you're making a test garment, Use the best fabric you can afford because your time is valuable. 
And the time you spend to craft and care something should be reflected. You shouldn't wash your fabric and find it twisting, pilling, or otherwise behaving badly after you've spent hours sewing it because that'll be a huge disappointment to you after you've spent all of that wonderful time doing it. Okay, so now we've got our seam in place. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause our video here and I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of pressing and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna sew the collar. Join us for our next video.